in standard 8th we are going to learn the first chapter when a letter reaches the computer so here in this chapter we are learning the software LibreOffice writer writer is a software mainly we use to type edit and format text so here in the first chapter as per the textbook you have to open up the file taj.txt so in order to open the file double click and open the home folder and school resources standard 8 and here we have to open the file taj.txt so txt is a file mainly prepared using a text editor or a notepad but we have to open this txt file in LibreOffice writer so in order to open this file right click on this file and choose open with other application and there we can choose LibreOffice writer and click on the select button so here we can see this is the file taj.txt and this we have to make as per our textbook here in the textbook we can see this poem has to be formatted to this form so all these changes what we see here has to be made in the text what we have opened in the file taj.txt so the first activity what we have to do is we have to change this text Taj Mahal so select the text then here we have to give the phone size to 28 then we have to change the phone color so this is the phone color box so here we have to click on this option so here we can choose a blue color so here I am choosing light blue now I have to give the alignment option so here we have the alignment and we have to make it to align center so our first part of the text is now ok so if you want to change the phone we can change the phone so, so again select the text then here in the phone I am taking century school book L so this is my text so now I have to give borders to this paragraph so select the paragraph then format menu paragraph and here we can use the option borders and here I am choosing this border option set top and bottom borders and here I have to give a color so here I am choosing the color as blue then click on the ok button so here we can see I have applied the borders to my paragraph now I have to give spacing here so here I am selecting this text the entire text the balance entire text then format menu again paragraph and here I am choosing the option intent and spacing and here in the line spacing I am choosing 1.5 so here in the preview box we can see the changes what have appeared so click on the ok button here so now we got the space in between now we have to change the font so here click on the phone name box and here I am choosing century school book L so now I got the text formatted so as the next part here you can see red underline red underline means what spelling mistake here also Taj Mahal so here I am selecting the entire text then here we can see check spelling so click on this button here then automatically here you can see the spellings are here so here click on ignore all and click on close button so now we can see the spelling here has been changed so here again I am choosing check spelling so here also I can choose ignore all again here ignore all like that we can clear out all the spellings here okay so click on the close button here so now all the red underlines has been removed now we have to include the image here in the format toolbar here we can see this is the insert image button so either we can click here 
or click on insert menu image and there we have to choose and here school resources then here standard 8 then images and here I have to choose Taj and Tears and click on open option so now you can see the image has been inserted here now click drag inwards and make this image smaller because I have to place this image here in this paragraph you can either click on the corners or you can drag it like this also so now we got the image Taj and Tears so now we have to insert one more image here in the starting portion of this paragraph or here I am choosing here click on insert image then here I am taking tag or and click on open so here you can see the picture of tag or is inserted now click drag and make this picture smaller so click and adjust the image so here now we have to give a border to the entire page so for that format menu page and there we can choose the option borders and there we can select all four borders then click on apply and ok so now here we can see the borders has been applied to our text so now we have to save this so click on file save as then here I am saving it in desktop giving the file name chapter 1 and click on save button 